Here's Don Nelson now in rage. This is a brand new 1986 Ford Bronco Mud Racer. Tell you what, it's got a big block Ford in it, stretched wheelbase. It could be tough. Has a little trouble on the starting line. Watch out. Now, trouble on the starting line usually means you're going to get about a quarter or a halfway in, and that's about it. When he nailed the throttle, the tires just lit up in the mud, and the traction absolutely was not there for the rage tonight. Here's Buell Mule. Gary Banaszewski out of St. Paul, Minnesota, the Buell Mule. So that's the third mutter now to go full in the cut tire competition. And again, 2.85 seconds by Kodiak so far is the time to beat. Here's the Blue Mule. Made a full run, as we mentioned, but 3.4 seconds, which leaves him behind Kodiak, which finished at 2.85. Here's Steamboat Willie. Bill Rupert out of South St. Paul. This is another one of the ultra-quick, super-light machines in this cut class. Watch this young man go to the track because he needs to go quicker than a 285. 285, Kodiak in the lead. Steamboat Willie's ready to ride. Waiting on the green flags. All he needs. Got it in gear. It's time to go to work. Watch him. He needs to go all the way out. He needs to skip the top. He's off. Steamboat Willie. Now, did he do it in 2.85? I don't think so. You've got a better judgment than I have because I'll tell you what, I couldn't get it. Watch him leave this starting line. He's got the traction this time. Leaves hard. Watch the front end come up. Now, he's not in the pit. He's running right across the top of it, much like you'd skip a rock across a lake. And all he does is skip that big vehicle right out the finish line area, and we'll wait on the stopwatch measurement. It gets a little rough landing one of them on the finish line. Bill Rupert out of South St. Paul, Minnesota. Stay tuned. More action in a moment on the Ford Budweiser United States Hot Rod Association Motorsports Extravaganza. Moving now to the tractor competition and the mud bog competition. This is Blue Mule 2. The big difference in these two vehicles is actually the tires themselves. Now, as you can tell by looking at Blue Mule 2, this is an implement tire. This tire was never meant to run on the road. This is an off-road tire only. It's an implement tire. It's got the tractor-type lugs on it. They're much taller than the tires that we saw in the earlier classes. A lot of times you'll find these vehicles have more weight in them. They'll have a little bit more problems getting through the pit. Let's see what happens in this tractor class. He's right on top of it. He's churning the ground. Churning, but he's going to come to a messy end. Take a look at a replay here now. You know, with these tractor tires, a lot of times the racers can't get up on top of the mud pit they have to run right down through the bottom of it you're going to see a lot of the the bigger taller implement tires in this class and they're actually going to churn right through the middle of the pit but you're also going to see some very fast times come out of this class you're looking at the green weenie and meyer out of coon rapids minnesota this is a modified jeep runs the tractor class big v8 engine underneath the hood of the green weenie Got his windshield wiper squirting a little fresh water on it. And when he gets down in that pit, he's going to definitely need that extra to clean off the windshield because, you know, a lot of times you hit that pit, you hit it real hard, real fast. The mud comes right up on the windshield, and it just makes it absolutely impossible for these mud racers to see where they're going. Out of bounds is the disqualification. We are in the tractor competition now in the mud bog racing. Drive one out right on the bottom of the pit if he makes it all the way through, and Ken's going to try his best. Going to need that to windshield fluid again, too. Wasn't in the cards for the Jeep tonight. Here's the shot of Ken when he leaves the starting line. He's trying to grind it out, knows there's not enough speed when he hits the pit, so he's just going to have to grind it out on the bottom of the pit with the green weenie, and that's exactly what he's trying to do right there. The truck goes down, the mud is just really coming in on him strong, and he is having a problem cutting through the pit tonight. Here's Thundering Buffalo. Bob Kennedy out of North St. Paul comes close but falls shy of the 90-foot mark. One thing about the Thundering Buffalo is you get a shot of it, big Dodge truck, the motor is kind of mounted in the middle. 
You're looking at the Cannibal, which hails from Cambridge, Minnesota. Scott Rosenberg is the driver. 428 cubic inches of Cobra Jet Ford sitting under the, the body of the Cannibal. Notice the tractor tires, and Scott's getting ready for the ride of a lifetime as he heads out to the tractor class. He'd like to run the pit. He can be the first man to go all the way through in this tractor class. Let's see what happens with the big Cobra jet motor as he gets ready to pound the ground in the beautiful Ford truck. Jet black with the gold trim. Scott Rosenberg from Cambridge, Minnesota. Here's a lightweight truck with a tall, thin tire on it that may be able to trip the mud and go all the way through. One of the best runs so far in the tractor competition, still shy of the 90-foot mark. Looks like he may have bettered 70. Now, where do they mark that from? The front tire, the back tire, or what? They're measured to the center of the front tire, the center of the hub on the front tires where the measurement on the mud track comes in. So he should be right about 70 feet. It'll be real close. Watch him leave the line with this cannibal truck. As he turns the tires real hard, trying to make it all the way through the pit. Beautiful job as he's got the motor wide open and it's nothing but horsepower and strain and gain this time around. Here's the Mud Hog now, driven by Tom Lindemann out of Oakdale, Minnesota. This is an older model Army truck. Been converted over to run the mud races. Now, he runs a, a lot taller tire. This is probably the taller tire that we've had so far, the Mud Hog. Watch him go to work, $8,500 invested in the Mud Hog, and one thing the Mud Hog needs to do tonight is need to hog his way all the way through the pit. What a great name, you know, Mud Hog, and you get it out and rattle around in the mud a little bit. Let's see if he can trip the light. Fantastic, go all the way through the pit. Just 90 feet. Tire's an advantage. Just 90 feet. Is, is, are the tires an advantage? The tall tires can help him with a real hit like we have here tonight, but he's going to have to work his way through. He's got a lot of height, a lot of ground clearance. He's still inching his way through, and they won't flag him until he completely comes to a stop, which is right there. Interesting, because he got off to a bad start and pretty much powered his way through the mud. We just talked about the tires. He did not get a great jump off the starting line left the starting line just a little bit slower than normal and this is very possible because he he could have hit the nitrous button and when it did that it flooded the cylinders the motor wouldn't come up wouldn't come alive so it came down on him right there you see the motor beginning to pick up and he probably goes back on the nitrous button about right then and the motor just lugs down one more time and that time it won't come back up to the mud hog there's your measurement on mud hog 78 feet 8 inches 